Hello everybody, and today we will be taking a look at the Destroyer line. I'm going to be using Kingston for this video. I probably should use something like Hikari or Glossos, but Kingston, because it's the best, in my opinion. And we get an actually good speed for once. Now, when it comes to the Destroyers, you're going to be wanting to play... So when it comes to the shorts, you're going to might be wanting to use your torpedoes to your advantage because they are the main primary weapon of your armament. You have six torpedoes on Kingston, three on each side, each packing a punch of 30k damage. When you shoot torpedoes, you want to aim ahead of the enemy so that you are holding Yeah, I hit them. I suck. Also, you're going to be wanting to use your guns when it comes to the shredders, just to add a bit of extra damage. Ooh, 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 okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Please believe me. We're fine. So when it comes to Kingston, you're going to be wanting to play short to medium range. Try to be able to get in some good shots. Torpedoes, preferably. Because when it comes to torpedoes, most of the torpedoes in this game deal 20k damage. Especially on destroyers, most destroyer torpedoes deal 20k. Kingston's and glass. Kingston seals 30, glass on steals 25. Also remember to, to dodge torpedoes, because you really do not have a lot of them. And if you don't dodge torpedoes, Saying hello, I want to die. So please, yes, just please go ahead and go. I want to die. And there we go. The special thing about the Kingston Destroyer is that it has high angle gun, so you can use it for anti-air, like against that uh, bump over there. I'm not. What's up? I'm not sure if it's red team or blue team though. Though, so, uh, yeah. That's probably one of my friends. Yeah. Okay, where's his app? I, okay, yeah, I'm just being blind. I'm just being blind. Don't mind me, guys. up when it is for 10 seconds while looking straight at it. I find that amusing. One more thing that I should mention is that when it comes to destroyers, you have a smoke screen, and that smoke screen is basically what's going to help conceal you. Because destroyers are all about concealment. In this game, concealment doesn't exist, so you just... And smoke. Okay, how that? How did? It Best to not because well you're gonna get deleted. Battleships steal a lot of damage. And those two do not mix well for a destroyer. 
It's best to be going up against, like, aircraft carriers, maybe cruisers, if you can actually fight them. Oh, and also against submarines, because you got death charges on the ground. That's cute to drop. Drop death charge. And remember, you're going to have to get it close or right on it. I'm not sure. I think it might be right on it. Ground sub. Oof. Just, you're going to have to use your guns. Except there, I like time to do Oh my gosh, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's going after the zap. If you're wondering how to play zaps, uh, you can you basically just go up, fly up there, and drop bombs, and hope that they don't get to your ships. It's actually simple as that. to counter destroyers. Basically as annoying as possible. Um, just trying to get I'll show you with a show in a second. Like it's how much are on radar? Five? Six? You're gonna want to smoke screen up and use your speed to try to get out of the combat area. Versus Phoenix just like chase me all the time. It actually wants me. It's actually not as stupid as some of the other cruisers. Which I'm happy for. Because I know that's how we play the game. I like half the people that use the cruisers, so let's nice to know. Also, I'd like to point out that when you're using destroyers, it's best to have two or three other destroyers. Because, well, uh, you can actually wolf pack like you do. And that's easy dub. The enemy ship that you guys will be targeting will be overwhelmed, and then will be sunk. Fortunately for this cruiser, I found a leader lost. 
so if the Saluder Nost knows how to play, it can <laughs> Stop, please. 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 No. No. No, no, no. Oh, no. 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 Bad submarine. Bad submarine. Bad submarine. Okay, it's gone. Did I just aim at it? Wow. Okay, cruiser, just please get out of here. Like, just please. Is this Charlemagne completely blind? Oh my god, it's blind. It is actually blind. <laughs> ah, the Shriers, they are really fun. They are really good for actually farming. Mainly because they actually have torpedoes. Torpedoes deal damage. When it comes to Showa, you're just gonna want to spam. Like you see how immediately you see how much torpedoes it has, and uh, just makes you want to spam. Which is actually a pretty decent tactic, I guess. Of course, you could go in like a normal destroyer and actually aim your torpedoes. But the torpedo spam, it's pretty hard to dodge. Yeah, we got Shalomon, Ace, Lidernos, Noise. I'll be doing a video with the Charl in maybe in a couple of days. Maybe. You're just gonna want to aim close to the ship, so your torpedoes spread out a lot, making it harder to dodge them. Not sure how close do I aim, because I don't play this thing that much. I'm more of a Hikari player. When it comes to the this is generally what you're gonna want to do.
so badly. I actually that fast. Honestly, a little sad. I wanted that to last longer. So, anyways, that's how your grandma played Destroyers. Quick recap. You just use smoke screens. You have to use your speed to be able to get out of situations. And torpedo spam. Also use your guns for anti-air or anti-ship if you want to. And that's about it.